It's day 1B of the Bay 101 Shooting Star. I'm here with Faraz Jaffa, who went deep in this event last year. He's back mm -hmm. as a shooting star. Yep. <laughs> You're, you have a bounty on your head, yep. which was a little bit different than last year. Uh -huh. And you weren't player of the year yet. Yeah. Now you are. Yeah. How has that changed things? Um, well, as far as the bounty goes, a lot of people are obviously going to be gunning for me because it's 5K on my head. Um, and because I was player of the year, I'm a little more well-known, so people know how I play more and whatnot, mm -hmm. so I definitely got to take that account in my strategy. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's cool coming back and playing here in San Jose. I'm from San Jose. I grew up mm -hmm. here just 15 minutes down the road. So, I mean, there's like a little extra motivation trying to take down your hometown tournament. Yeah, yeah. There's just something special about it I can't explain. And I mean, it's just cool to see. I know like a bunch of the dealers' faces and a bunch of the regulars. I recognize their faces. So, so. when did you leave San Jose? Um, in high school. So, so. you didn't really play here. Um, uh -oh. well, I, I used to sneak in here and I was like 19 years old and grind like all night long till like 6 in the morning. So. That's cute. That's very cute. <laughs> so I did start here. So what is it like? I mean, this place has, I have to say, some of the most amazing fans. Yeah. I have never seen the poker players give out so many autographs and yeah. photos. I, I really wish more tournaments would be like this because a lot of times on the rail they're like sushing players or making them move away. Over here they're encouraging everyone to come and support everyone on the mic they're just telling them to yell and get loud and it makes it more fun and it gets a lot more locals to come play so it's better for the tournament yeah. and it's a better atmosphere yeah. for people who are on a rail so great, i yeah, love it you great know? energy yeah uh, so what do you got right now after the first couple levels um i've got about like 22k we started with 30. Right. um i got short pretty early uh what everyone happened? everyone's calling every single hand i'm in um and I usually work off people's fear, mm -hmm. and in this case, they're just looking at their tops with a 5K bounty, <laughs> which is fine. I can adjust to that, but it just right. means that there's going to be a lot more variance, so like okay. my ships are going to be flying up and down. So don't just, don't be surprised if you see me bust in like 10 minutes, and don't be surprised if you see me chip leader in the next. So you're hour. not going to change gears. You're going to keep playing how you play, and what happens happens. Uh, well, I don't want to reveal too much, but in general, when you're in this type of situation, people, you tend to just tighten up and wait for good hands, yeah. but I'm kind of crazy in the head, and instead I try to up crazy it up, up it a notch, and just go even crazier and go with it, so. Crazy in the head, crazy in the hair, you're growing it out right now? I am growing it out. I have no plans on cutting it. It's growing indefinitely. You know, I was saying earlier, Frost, you should grow it indefinitely, and then get the Brazilian blowout. It's like... <laughs> I didn't know what the Brazilian blowout was until she educated me. Practice this. We'll see. <laughs> it doesn't quite work with the fro, <laughs> with the nappy hair. Thank you for us. Yeah, thanks. Go get